Hello, and welcome back to AJM Learn. Um, today, I'm going to show you how to install one of my favorite widgets. I get asked all the time uh, for clients they want to include their Google reviews on their website. Um, you can always build those really, you know, nice custom sliders. We have a post on that. But Google reviews, they just look legit. You know, they're directly embedded. You can't really make them up. Like, so they just look super legit. People really like to have this on their site. So I'm going to show you how to do it today. Um, this is kind of my sandbox site. So, you know, ignore any anything weird happening here. Um, and then I'm going to go over here. I provided this link in the post. Uh, Elf site has my favorite, really all my favorite widgets. They're a little bit mostly different than like your plugin sites. These are uh, yeah, yeah, kind of more like these widgets. They're less of those like little CSS snippets. They're, you know, actual um, little items you can add to your site. So I will go to this Google reviews one. I provided the link in the post um, and you can kind of get started from here. So first you want to select a template to start from. You can edit from here, but it just, you know, helps you from having to edit more once you're in there. Um, it's pretty cool because this is one of my favorite things about it. You can choose a carousel. You can choose just a badge, which is really nice. Um, a floating badge is really, really nice just in case you don't want like, this whole section on your website, grid, slider, all of these things. Um, I am such a big dark mode fan, so I'll just go with the dark mode grid, um, and you can click continue with this template. Okay, this part is maybe the most confusing, but if you click this learn more, they give you lots of uh, info, plus I'll show you here. Um, right here is where you're finding your business on, uh, on Google. Um, my business, I mean, I have a small business. It truthfully was not showing up when I was typing the name in here. So I was like, oh my God, how do I do this? Uh, any business with an actual location, if you put the address in, you should have no problem finding it. Um, mine does not have a location. So how you do this, go to your Google My Business page. So I typed in like my business name um, and then you click on the map. So you're in Google, you find your business, you click on the map. It should look something like this. Um, obviously based on wherever you are. And then you're gonna click this share button. You're gonna go to embed a map and then you're gonna copy this HTML. From there, come back here. It seems very weird, but yeah, you're gonna paste that right in here. And then the most confusing thing for me, you click search and then it pops up this gibberish. It's right, you click that and bam, there are all of my reviews. So pretty cool, pops in pretty easily. Um, AI generated, this is kind of new turn it on or off whatever um for me i like it's kind of generating these uh bullet points it's saying okay these are things that it's reading from the rest so it's it's just showing like here's a summary so kind of cool but if you don't want it you can just turn that off so we're just showing clients um filters this is really nice so you can show reviews only with text so you don't have these weird blank boxes that like just have stars and no text um, you can actually show uh, ones with at least a certain amount of stars. So if you were like, hey, I don't really want to show my, you know, three stars, I'll start with four. Um, luckily, I only have five stars. So because my clients are amazing. So that's good. Um, you can oops, show the total number of uh, reviews you want to show. So you could you know, type in a different number here. Uh, this is really great. So you can actually exclude reviews. So you could type in a name if you had like one that was just really bad or one that I don't know you just didn't like the way the person it was like long or doesn't matter you can always add that you can actually do a keyword as well so any of that if you wanted to only say you wanted to put this on like your branding page if you only wanted um you know ones that showed uh like here include add you could like only have ones that include the word logo or whatever so you could get um more specific there um obviously don't need these so those are options there, which is great in your filters, um, sorting, most recent or random, whatever you want there. Okay, before you click the add to website for free, you have all of these to click through. So source, we got that. Layout, you could totally change it again here. So we chose that template, we could you know change our mind at any moment. So we can choose that here. We can actually get way more specific with the amount of rows, like the gap between this, of course, jumps around a little bit. My bad. I keep like it. Only downfall is that you do have to really click right within their uh, fields. Um, so let's see if I wanted the gap to be, you know, 30. Could change that there. Um, content width, etc. So you can get really specific here. You can change the title. I usually just turn it off because I'll tend to put the title on my web page. Same with the header. Um, 
reviews. So you can customize a little bit more here if you want to show the name. Maybe you don't want your client, you know, maybe you don't want your client's name on there. They might not appreciate that. I don't know. So you can get rid of that. Um, all of these other options, which is really, really great. This is cool. You can display short or full. I really like to do short. They get the gist of it. They could click on it and read more, um, just like that. But if you show the full, like, I mean, it looks so much worse. So short looks amazing. This is one of my favorite settings. Appearance, um, awesome. So we can uh, customize this. You can actually apply from your website. Um, let's see, I haven't actually done this step. Uh, I'm not seeing that option. You know, it should be pulling. I'm wondering if it's going to pull from our site somewhere. But for now, we could choose, you know, choose a font, um, whatever we want. We can see if that option pops up because I that's what one I'm super familiar with. Um, let's see. You could switch back from dark and light mode. You can change your accent color. I love like a good, you know, my brand has more of like this color. Um, you could, of course, put your your custom colors in here. I'm just for the sake of time not doing so. Um, and yeah, you can get even more specific here. I could say, okay, I actually want my stars to be this color. I want all of these things. So, um, you can actually put in custom CSS. So lots of options there. Last, your settings. So, you know, language, all of these things. Um, I usually keep most of this pretty much standard. I don't want to get too crazy here. Um, perfect. So next we would go to, let me like name this. So let's say Google reviews. Um, I would of course have used my actual colors, but again, for sake of time, we'll just do this. Okay, so here we go. Um, you get to this page, like anything, it, you know, good stuff costs money, but we can have one widget for free. So I actually already have a widget on my account. So unfortunately I cannot use this option. Um, or maybe it's gonna let me, let's see. Copy code. I, oh, you know what? I think the widget I have on my account is not active. So let's try it. So we have our widget in here. I just copied the code. Go to edit on our page. Go to add block. Get a code block. And I'm always trying to figure out is the code block better or the embed block better for these types of things. So let's take a look. Um, Let's see. Oh, duh. I'm supposed to have dark mode. Perfect. So it seems like the code block worked really, really well. So no need to explore the embed block. This, uh, I believe, will go away if you upgrade. Um, people can easily, yeah, I believe that badge goes away if you upgrade. Um, there's probably, if you're smart, and which I'm sure you are, I'm sure there's a way to like secretly easily get rid of this like with the code. Um, there might have even been a toggle somewhere in the settings, but either way, um, this is all here. They can load more, they can read more. It works really, really well. So um, super aw awesome addition to your client sites. I get asked for this all the time. Um, I think you're really gonna love this one.